Hello, hello friends. Hope you all are fine. Today I am going to share a new library for Proteus, which is of PIR sensor. Uh, I have already uh, I have already designed uh, XB library, GPS library, and Arduino library for Proteus, which you can also download uh, from my blog. And their videos are also uploaded on YouTube. Now it's my fourth library, which is on PIR sensor. I have designed this PIR sensor in Proteus, which you can use quite easily. And uh, uh, as we all know, we can't uh, detect the motion in Proteus software. So for that purpose, I have used an extra pin using which we can uh, uh, feel that someone is moving or there's motion around. So I have named this pin as test pin. You can see here, that's our test pin. So when this test pin is high, it means motion is around and uh, our PIR sensor will give an output and uh, when uh, this test pin is low it means there's no motion detected and our PIR sensor will give out as low <coughs> you can download this PIR uh, sensor library from the link given in the description of this video and the link is same as this post when you click on that link, you will get to this post on our blog, The Engineering Projects, PAR Sensor Library for Proteus. And uh, there are other libraries which I have posted, Arduino Library, GPS Library, XP Library, and Ultrasonic. Oh, I forgot that one before. I have also designed Ultrasonic Sensor Library for Proteus. So now you can download this PAR Sensor Library from here. As I have already downloaded it, so that's why it's asking. So I'm opening it as a folder. What you need to do is you need to place all these three files in C program files, and uh, here is our. lab center and then 47 and then library so i'm placing all these three files in the library folder of my 47 professional software so i'm gonna click ok and uh, it's asking for confirm file to place because i already have all these files in that folder i'm clicking yes to all so now I have placed all these three files in the library folder of my Proteus software. I'm clicking close. I'm not gonna design a new project in Proteus because I have already designed it and you can also download that simulation. That's the simulation which I have designed and you can download it from here download PIR simulation so when I click it it's asking for download I'm downloading it ok and uh, close this is the simulation in Proteus software so I'm starting it and uh, here's our PIR sensor designed in Proteus So now what we need to do is we need to do one extra thing which is we need to double click it and here you need to give the path of your hex file and which is in C program files lab center Proteus 7 professional lab Lady. and this one is the file which we just downloaded in the first step from our blog all those three files 
be placed here and this is the file you need to upload in this PIR sensor PIR sensor db.hex this file is actually adding the functionality <coughs> needed for this PIR sensor click ok and if you look at the properties one more time you can see his uh, URL to our blog the engineering projects and we are using PIR sensor it's the name and its version is 1 so it's right now first version of our PIR sensor library I'm gonna add more features in it but uh, <coughs> it's a long run maybe I will reduce its size because it's a little big in size right now anyways so I'm clicking ok next what I need to do is I need to design a code for my Arduino board using which I will test this PIR sensor so as an example you can see I'm clicking play and you can see this button is this uh, logic uh, input is off zero so my PIR sensor is giving me ground now if suppose you want this to this sensor to detect motion then you need to click this and it's one and you can see as as soon as it goes one this out pin also goes one so it means our PIR sensor has detected motion so it's giving this value as an output okay so now I'm stopping my video uh, sorry simulation and control Z uh, we have our Arduino back now next thing I need to do is I need to run this simulation uh, this uh, code it's the Arduino code for this simulation in which we are detecting the motion I'm clicking OK and I am simply compiling and we will what we need to do is we need to get the hex file location for our Arduino board and here the hex file control C now I am gonna upload this hex file here okay yeah, simulation okay no what I have done is I have simply downloaded the simulation I have uploaded the hex file in this PAR sensor which I have downloaded on, from my site and placed it in the library folder of Proteus software and then I designed the code for Arduino which you can also download from my website link is given in description and then I uploaded the hex file of that uh, code in this Arduino board uh, you can see I have also attached a virtual terminal with it now I am clicking play and here is our virtual terminal and you can see there is no such and yes when I click one motion detected I am going to click it and make it zero PR sensor is still one and then it goes to zero because PAR sensor keeps on detecting the motion for some time and then it goes to zero now it's zero and soon it will show us that motion and this delay is in the code because uh, motion doesn't happen at once sometimes there's motion then motion stops and then there's motion so we have to add some delay in the code so that it makes sure that motion has ended and you can see here its motion ended now if I click it and it means I am allowing the PIR sensor to detect motion when I click it here again its motion detected so that's how this PIR sensor is gonna work I am clicking it again 0 and you can see here it's gonna go ground here it is it's grounded means motion ended and it's gonna take some time so 
on motion engine it's, uh, it's around I think 5 seconds in the code uh, and see here it is motion ND so that's how this sensor is gonna work in Proteus I'm stopping it when I was designing this library, I have designed four of these player sensors, which I'm gonna post here real quick. I'm gonna go to parts and I'm gonna search for player sensor. And this one we already have in our workspace, and I'm gonna add all the others. So these PAR sensors are available in four different colors right now. If your favorite color is not one of them, then you can ask ask for a new color in the comments and I will try to add it and will send you the new library. Anyways, here are the four colors and these all will work the same thanks for watching subscribe us and do follow us on our blog take care bye bye